So tonight, the New York Yankees lost to the Boston Red Sox in extra innings. And it's kind of mind-boggling to me how that was able to happen. For starters, Domingo Herman goes out there and he pitches a very good game against the Red Sox in Fenway Park, a hitter-friendly ballpark. Herman was good against the Cardinals his last start as well. And you think everything's good. And then you get into the eighth inning, a roll of Chapman comes in. Boom, a strikeout. Gets an out. Strikeout. There's two lefties coming up, and Devers and Verdugo. And I was thinking, there's no way Clay Holmes is coming into this game, right? Chapman just easily threw a scoreless eighth. There's two lefties. And Clay Holmes, he's just been so bad. But the Yankees go with him. And you can tell right away, I mean, he got Devers out, but then Bogarts, you know, he walks him, and there's a guy in the bullpen warming up. And after that, Holmes, he's lucky that he didn't lose the game right there and then. He did give up a run, but then the relief pitcher comes in. There's runners in the corners with one out, and Hosmer strikes out. And then the next batter uh, was Christian Arroyo. He lines, hits it hard, but it was just right at the shortstop. So if you look at Clay Holmes' last 11 games, guys, 11 runs and 10 walks. His first 38 games, three runs and six walks. Holmes just does not look the same. His movement on his sinker, he, it's like he just can't control it, dude. It's like the release point. I mean, I don't, I couldn't break down what's going on, but I mean, it's just, if you watch baseball, you can tell that this guy just does not look the same, especially when you look at how elite and unhittable he was in the beginning of the season. I, I don't even think he gave up. In those 38 games, he probably gave up one run. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he gave up one run in that entire you know, first kind of stretch for him. The Yankees have really struggled as a whole. It's not just Clay Holmes. It's basically been everything. They just lost two of three to the Mariners. They got swept by the Cardinals. And now they lose the first game to the Boston Red Sox. They've got the Yankees. Uh, excuse me. they got the Rays, and then they've got the, the Blue Jays coming up next. And then they've also got the Mets. So there's some tough teams. And I know the Red Sox have struggled this season. But it's still the Boston Red Sox. The Red Sox should have two wins right now. They're still going to give the Yankees at least a run. And I know the Yankees have taken care of the Red Sox winning six of the first 10 games. Well, now they've won six of the first 11 games, but you get my point. Honestly, the Yankees, they made some really good moves at the trade deadline. They brought in it what seems like the pieces they needed. They went out there and they got another starter who, unfortunately, hasn't looked the greatest, but it's still early. They did trade Montgomery as well to the Cardinals. And if you look at the Yankees' offense, that's that's kind of what I do want to talk about for the rest of this video because I'm going to pull it up right now. So you look at their lineup. Of course, you've got DJ LeMahieu, who he's been red hot. He went one for five tonight, though. And then you've got Aaron Judge, who is going to win the MVP, which should be a second. I think Jose Altuve absolutely robbed him of the first one. And I'm not a Yankees fan, if you, you guys wouldn't know that, but I'm not a Yankees fan. Anthony Rizzo, who has been, he's been hitting the ball really well lately. Just having Rizzo protecting Judge is really important because if you're pitching to Judge and you just pitch around him, like that was the thing tonight. I'll give a perfect example. Aaron Judge, there's one a guy on second base and no outs, and he comes up and he gets a walk because, and then the three two uh, slider away, like no one's, you can't, like you're not gonna challenge Aaron Judge, but then you just walked him. So now you've got a lefty and Rizzo coming up, and he can one swing, and you know the game could be completely turned. So. That's what Rizzo is so important. The Josh Donaldson, the Yankees are hoping that he can get this going. I don't know if he can. I, I really don't think he can. I mean, I think Donaldson can have some big moments in the playoffs. But right now, I, I don't have much faith in Josh Donaldson. Let me know if you disagree with that. Gleyber Torres just lately has been absolutely horrendous. He was 0 for 5 tonight. He had a double play. It's a killer double play. Benintendi, he's hitting, there's no way Benintendi's hitting 182. Is that with the Yankees only? I thought it wasn't Benny an all-star. That may, How is Benintendi hitting so bad? And he's got a 588 OP. Ben Intendi has been so bad, like abysmal. And then, of course, you've got Trevino, who was an all-star catcher. Dude, he made some fantastic defensive plays tonight. I don't know too much about him, but from what I saw tonight, he, he just, man, he was making stud plays, bro. He saved the game multiple times. And then you've got, um, I think they call him IAKF, who's actually been pretty solid this year. He's a good defender. I mean, when, you know, he got hit in eighth in the Yankees' order, hit in 262. I'll, I'll take that any single day. And he's a good defender. I want from what I, I'm just going off the eye test because I don't watch every Yankees game, but when I do catch the Yankees, he's always been good. And then Aaron Hicks, who 
you know, switch hitter. He's kind of on and off. I don't know. Aaron Hicks is a good defender as well, but I, I've always liked Aaron Hicks. I mean, yeah, Aaron Judge, guys, you know, 46 home runs, 100 RBIs, gold glove. If it wasn't for Mookie Betts all those years, Aaron Judge would have won a lot of gold gloves. Aaron Judge is unbelievable. I remember before the season started, the Yankees weren't willing to pay up for him because of the injuries and because of maybe – the, I'm not going to say inconsistency because Aaron Judge has always been a stud, but I guess it was just the I think it was the age because he's 30, and I I just I thought it was laughable. I really thought it was laughable. Aaron Judge should be locked up, man. I understand that you give a player a big contract. You've got like Max Scherzer for example. He's a pitcher, that's a horrible example, but you get what I'm saying. These you give these players these big contracts, they're making more money than some teams like the Mariners and the Rays and of course the the Orioles. But I mean, it's it's Aaron Judge. You're in New York, dude. You lock this guy up. You build around him. I don't think Aaron Judge is slowing down anytime soon. He's just an unbelievable player. But I never thought in a million years I'd make a Yankees video. I'm going to reveal it at the end that I'm a Red Sox fan because if I said that in the beginning of the video, everyone would have clicked off or hated on me. But, hey, man, this is a test. I actually have a Knicks channel if you guys want to go check it out. Knicks Daily, bro, about to hit uh, 3K sub soon. But, yeah, guys, that's the video. New York Yankees are struggling. But, man, hopefully – well, I'm not going to – I don't know. I really shouldn't say hopefully they'll figure it out because I'm, I'm a Red Sox fan. But, you know, I'm never going to root for a team to fail, even if it is the Yankees. You know, I want I want to see everyone at their best and healthy come playoff time. And, you know, I, I just want to see the Yankees compete with the Astros. Like, I don't want to see the Yankees – I just want to see a competitive series, man. Because the thing is, honestly, I don't know who I honestly dislike more, Astros or Yankees. It's really – that's really close. So, you know, seven games, whoever wins that. I mean, I guess I'd go with the Astros just because, I, you know, you can never root for the Yankees as a Red Sox fan. But, you know, we'll see what happens. But, yeah, I'm signing out. Peace.